Hello, I'm the Iceland Robot, and welcome to my review of Maximum Overdrive. I'm gonna do the. I'm just very bored right now, and I'm gonna record reviews for three films. This is the first one, and I'm gonna give it a good, decent review. I might even do footage clips. I might even. And the footage clips. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna do another footage clip soon. I promise. Yeah, but anyway, back to Maximum Overdrive, the only film Stephen King has ever directed. He's written a lot of them, but this is the only one he's ever grown up the balls to direct. Like, Stephen King hates this fucking movie. Hates it to death. So I'm like, I was coked up, up half the fucking time and didn't know how to work with acting. And thinking, right, I get over here. I want to tell you something. If you got coked up, here's a little tip for you get coked up again! But this fucking movie is awesome. It is awesome on so many levels. The score, it's awesome. The idea is fucking badass. You know. A score by ACDC. I mean, I, I mean, the first couple of days after I saw this, I was going, I was always going, who made who? Who made you? But back to the movie. It just, and the idea, basically, machines turning on us, fucking people up. That's not that bad of an idea. And, yeah. Only bad thing to this movie is, I mean, Emilio Estevez is okay. Pat Ingle, he's okay. But only bad part about this fucking movie, Yertel Smith. If that name sounds familiar, that's the bitch that voices Lisa Simpson. Yeah, you heard it right. I called her a bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Because she sucks. Bitch dick. But, basically, all that aside, getting to the movie around, getting to the movie itself. It's just, you know, it just starts off, title card, playing for like a minute and a half, and you start about the movie. And you just get the machines fucking people up. All from, you know, call, um, ATM machine calling Stephen King an asshole. Yeah, because there's a scene where Stephen King actually has a cameo in the movie where it goes up to an ATM and it just goes, You're an ass, you are an asshole. And you know, the sign is going, You, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And just off, awesome, awesome. Why is that like, uh, uh, But, and then it's just, you know, I don't get to the Dixie Boy. That's where you know things start happening, but that's where Emilio Estevez is. And I think it go, you know, pretty okay there. Until of course, oh, you know, these mechan mechanized cutter. It starts cutting. You know, what the fuck was that? iPad? Are you okay, iPad? Do I need to shove the DVD in your face a little bit more? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're okay, though. But, and, long story short, machines start fucking people up. People at the Dixie Boy, they, they dig in. You know, this Bible salesman is driving by, and he, he's, you know, he's gave this girl a lift, and he's going... You have to pay a tax, and he's not even listening to the radio when she says, Did you hear one word of what the guy on the radio said? And he looks at her and goes, Are you on something? Are you on something? Nah, but they get there, and it's one, one of the people, Dixie Boy's kid, Dixie Boy's, one of the guys at the Dixie Boy, you know, he, he has a kid, and he, the kid, at a soccer game, where when everything goes, the Fritz, you know, is 
The coach is gonna give him some, give everybody some soda, and you know what happens to the coach? Death by soda can. <laughs> you know, some of the kids dying. One of the kids actually gets run over. Pretty graphic scene. No, you just see a dummy get run on over and some basket, uh, so softball clothes, and then he then there's just shots of him driving through a ruined city. With all the machines, you know, napping. And he sees a half-naked woman. Lingerie. Sticking out the window. Not to be dirty, but... There, were, there are other things that I would do other than just drive away. As a, as a male human being, I must say that. And there are a few other things that I would do other than drive away. We cycle away, and basically, and the guy's kid, you know, he gets run over by a truck, and the movie is, you know, people with bazookas and guns versus machines. You're not going into this movie to see a masterpiece of cinema. If I want to see a masterpiece of cinema, I'll watch fucking Barton Fink or Sugar Hill or, or fucking Taxi Driver. I'm not going into this movie like Maximum Overdrive. That, and Stephen King doesn't understand. He delivers what he promises. That's all he has to understand. And, you know, after getting, after digging in at the Dixie Boy, you know, this one got, this one M60 vehicle shows up and, you know, sends them a Morse code message about how they have to feed them. And they actually do that. Until, of course, Emilio Estevez blows up the M60 van. And then they just run with guns. And then there's this shot of uh, humans here, humans here. You know, this burger joint thing where you always order your food. And you're like, humans here, humans here. And, one, and the guy's kid that, you know, got run over. And he says, this is for my dad, you motherfucker. They get to this island. On basically, they get to this island where there aren't aren't any machines allowed, and they chill there for six days. And then the then the end title card is completely out of context. First, first one talks about a comet. The other one talks about a spaceship shot down by a Russian satellite. That that happened to have a class 5 nuclear missile aboard and a laser cannon. He just happened to have a class 5 nuclear missile on board. That was convenient, Stephen. That was very convenient for you. Movies in a minute! Woo! But all in all, Entertaining, fun movie. Can't recommend it enough. I mean, it goes at a fast pace. It delivers what it promises, and great score. Not badly directed, but okay, the he directed. And then there are some people that say, "Oh, it's so bad, it's good." I can't agree with that. I love this movie to death. Any fucking way you slice it, I will always love this movie to death. Even though Stephen King actually won a Razzie for his direction on this movie. But that has been my review of Maximum Overdrive. We will. If you enjoyed this review, leave a like. Don't. I'm the Ice Robot, and this has been my contribution. Peace.